The world's fifth largest continent, Antarctica is almost entirely covered by ice 2,000 meters thick. The area sustains varied wildlife, including seals, whales, and penguins. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959 and enforced since 1961, provides for international governance of Antarctica. Scholars build their own personal libraries to support not only particular projects but also general reading in their field, they buy or make photocopies of materials when possible, so they can consult them frequently, mark pages and write annotation on them. When moving into a new field, they add to their collections, usually concentrating on primary texts. There were two types of soldier in the Roman army, the Roman legionary and the auxiliaries. The legionaries were the very best soldiers and the auxiliaries were actually non-Roman citizens. Legionaries wore an undershirt made of linen and a woolen tunic. The linen helped the soldiers to stay cool while the wool helped to trap heat, keeping the soldiers warm.
The information session is a 45-minute presentation conducted by an admission representative. Immediately following the session is a 90-minute walking tour of the campus led by a student ambassador. Walking tours of the campus generally include classroom buildings, a residence hall room, a dining hall, the library, athletic facilities, performing art facilities, and the student union. Written by ten eminent professors, it had been updated to reflect the shifts of sociological thought in the last five years, making it the most comprehensive, authoritative, and contemporary dictionary available. It was essential reading for all students and teachers of sociologies and other related courses, and also for the general reader. Since our graduate admission school is not centralized, each of the university's six schools and colleges admits students to its own programs. For information about specific program degrees, graduate applications, graduate admission requirements and procedures, graduate scholarships and the status of your application, visit the individual school websites.
Whether salamander, frog or toad, amphibians are some of the most diverse and far-flung animals on the planet, however, they're disappearing, and experts are worried since frogs are considered bellwethers for the environment, their double life makes them unique, it's through their skin that they breathe and drink water because their skin is so permeable. The dyes and pigments available in any particular period in which a specific color photographic process was invented, manufactured and used have profound effects on the quality of color that defines most of the style and particular historical period. Research has found we pursue more rewards when we become habituated to a higher standard of living and compare ourselves to various standards. What it takes to be happy depends on our prior expectations, but these expectations can change over time.
Research has shown that the gut microbiome is important for human physiology and health. Disturbances to the composition of the gut microbiome can be associated with chronic diseases such as gastrointestinal inflammatory disorders, neurological, cardiovascular, and respiratory illnesses. The human body has evolved strategies to ensure that a symbiotic relationship exists between the microbes in our gut and our cells. Changes in climate affect, for example, the plant and animal life of a given area, the presence of coal beds in North America and Europe along with evidence of glaciation in these same areas indicates that they must have experienced alternately warmer and colder climates than they now possess. Psychology is the study of cognitions, emotions, and behavior. Psychologists are involved in a variety of tasks. Many spend their careers designing and performing research to understand how people behave in specific situations, how and why we think the way we do, and how emotions develop and what impact they have on our interactions with others.
This report includes a huge swath of macroeconomics, such as the effects of tax reform, a new industrial policy, and understanding how to deal with the uncertainty inherent in global financial market, but it also covers key areas of microeconomic policies, such as boosting laggardly rates of productivity. We've spent a lot of money over the last 70 years on flood control, and it's protected millions of people and has saved us billions of dollars, we've built dams to hold back the waters, we've built levees to keep the water off the people, and we've raised the ones that were originally started in 1718. Globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change, many of these changes are social, cultural and political rather than purely economic, and one of the main drivers in addition to the global marketplace is the communication revolution. Thank <music> you.